Today I'm walking the first section of the Hadrian's Wall Walk, the national trail from Newcastle Wall's End or Segedunum to Heddon on the Wall. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, I'm Eddie from Hiking with Dogs, covering everything to do with hiking, multi day treks, and camping. This channel is going to help you get motivated, inspired, and prepared for a great outdoor experience, even if you don't have a dog. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. It'll also make you irresistible to other people. Everything Eddie mentions in this video will also be linked in the description box below. Back to you Eddie, on location. Thank you Alexa. So today, I'm walking the first section of the Hadrian's Wall Walk, which is from Segedunum, which is in Wall's End in Newcastle, to Heddon on the Wall, it's about 15 miles. Now the Hadrian's Wall Walk follows the line of the old Hadrian's Wall, which was built about 1900 years ago and was occupied by the Romans for about 400 years. It's 84 miles long, but the original wall, what the Romans built, was 80 Roman miles. Stay tuned until the end because I'm going to give some hints, tips and reviews on everything what I think is good and bad about this section of the Hadrian's Wall Walk. So let's do it. Just on the other side of this fence is the old Swan Hunters shipyards well, there was three shipyards. The wall closed down in about 1993 when it failed to secure a navy contract to build three frigates. In its day, it employed about 14,000 people. And now it's just wasteland. heavily on the shipbuilding industry and now since it's gone they've become quite run down. Marina now which is about 10 minute walk from the quayside so we're just on the skimming the outskirts of Newcastle city centre. I think you'd probably say we've just completed section one of stage one which isn't the most glamorous from Segedunum. Uh, we've passed some right on the edges of some rundown areas of Walls End and Walker. Tower blocks, fly tipping, graffiti, littering and broken glass you know, all over the place, it needs a bit of a community cleanup, but nonetheless, it's really interesting historically. So, now we're going to go into the second stage, or the second section from St. Peter's Marina onto the Keyside. <laughs>
called the Dunstan Steeds. Dunstan's in the West End of New, uh, sorry, the West End of Gated, where Paul Gascoigne's from, Gaza. And the Dunstan Steeds here, yeah, this wooden structure is believed to be the largest wooden structure in Europe. And there used to be a set of four railway lines coming from the old, what used to be County Durham pits, coal pits. The trains used to come along the top of top of the structure into uh, I think six loading bays on each side and the ships used to be loaded with coal at this very spot and then transport that coal all over Europe. In its day Newcastle was the the hub of the coal industry in the UK. I don't know if you've heard the saying uh, taking coals to Newcastle which means it's a bit like selling ice to Eskimos but that's where the saying's from. So that's uh, the end of what I would say is section two of this stage of the Hadrian's Wall National Trail. We're about uh, just over 10 kilometres in, which is just over six miles. And uh, I'd say we're just uh, the other side of Newcastle City Centre, at the edge of an area called Elswick in Newcastle's West End. So yeah, the second section I thought was uh, quite pleasant, wandering through the city centre. The quayside, there's a buzz about the place and energy, which I really enjoy. Uh, so uh, let's carry on. Scotswood Bridge over the Tyne which connects the Scotswood Road with Bladen. grassy areas, little play park, takeaway cafe, benches to sit on, it's absolutely really lovely. So call it the end of section 3, and I'm making them up, I don't think they're official, which I'm going to call from Elzig down by the river to Newburn, and I'm at uh, my roughly 12 mile point, so I've got about 3 miles left, and it's uh, been really quite a pleasant section especially the last couple of miles as it crossed over the A1 because before then it was a bit dreary but since then it's been uh, really quite nice <laughs> survey and mapping software said it was 24.77 kilometers which in old money is about 15.4 miles just under 15 and a half miles so not a bad distance I said at the end I would do some hints tips and a review of that walk so I loved it again I love getting out on these walks in terms of accessibility and transport and getting there it's really quite easy uh, the metro system takes you to Wall's End and from Wall's End it's only a three, four minute walk from there to the to Segedunum Fort for the beginning of the walk. You've also got Newcastle Airport if you need to fly there. And uh, Newcastle Airport is right at the end of the Metro line, so again the Metro system can take you straight to Wall's End. There's also a ferry to North Shields from uh, from Amsterdam if you're coming from mainland Europe. And of course there's plenty of car parks nearby if you, if you come and buy a car. The route itself I'd say the difficulty rating is moderate, uh, so anybody really of an average fitness could uh, quite easily do this walk. It's 
mildly undulating in parts but I'd say in the last mile there's a couple of little climbs into heaven on the wall so be prepared for that. I broke this walk down this, this stage one of the Hadrian's Wall walk into four sections because there's different landscapes and environments on this walk it's really interesting. The first three miles from the start to St Peter's Marina which is on the outskirts of, uh, of the quayside and that's a little bit run down as you skirt around the edges of Wall's End and Walker and it's all tarmac um, but you know you pass the old Swan Hunter shipyard which is really interesting you've got the fort itself at Segedunum to take a little look at you've got the, the remains there and a couple of hundred meters up the path you've got some the remains of some Roman baths so that's worth seeing as well stage two which is about three miles which takes you right along the river through the quayside by the bridges and I would highly recommend you you know you take take 15 20 minutes out half an hour have a break there's loads of cafes and little restaurants anywhere that you can get a drink stage three you've got from Elzik where the old Elzik shipyard used to be to New Bottle and that took five or six miles I think that walk was um, it didn't really start getting into quite a scenic walk until you get past the A1 uh, the footbridge which goes over the A1 then it opens out into some nice countryside that was quite nice until you get a new bottle past the the boathouse pub and it's lovely around there highly recommend you stop and have a break there then the last section which is basically all countryside the last three to four miles or so to heading on the wall very idyllic long country paths and then like I say the last in the last mile is a couple of st little steep climbs any safety issues I think well, certainly with your dog the only safety issues any concerns I would say is keep your eye out for broken glass on that first section to St Peter's uh, but there's no livestock or sheep that um, that your dogs come into contact with it's uh, really quite safe you do cross some roads so be mindful to uh, you know keep them keep them on a lead where you can refreshments there's nowhere until you get to the quayside really then you're just spoiled for choice for I'd highly recommend the, the bike hub which is at Oosburn which is right by the river you can get some nice coffees and cakes there navigation of the route really very easy it's well signposted and also just follow the acorns I didn't get lost you know you don't need a, a map or a compass really it's really quite well signposted so there's no problems there so that's it stage one of the of the Hadrian's Wall walk from Segedunum to Heaven on the Wall. But don't expect to see any sections of the wall because you'll be bitterly disappointed. I think that comes down the next two or three stages of the walk. But other than that, you know, it's, it's a fascinating historical tour of Newcastle's Riverside especially, and well worth keeping an eye out for uh, some of the things that I've mentioned. So my next walk is gonna be stage two of the Hadrian's Wall path, uh, which I'll do in a week or so of time. If you haven't already done so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos give it a thumbs up if you liked it or leave any comments below if you want to add any little bits and bobs so until then catch you next time